So I'm down in the basement. We are taking a look at the old Come From Acre carrier furnace. So this is a 100,000 BTU furnace. Uh, it's about 19, 19 and a half inches wide. Um, new furnace and air conditioning coil are going to be B width, 17 and a half inches wide. Um, so uh, I've got the dimensions on our return drop. So we're gonna replace the return drop coming into the side of our furnace. Uh, the existing air conditioning coil is a two and a half ton coil. All of our condensate runs out, runs down right here into our condensate drain. So just bring a new uh, condensate hose to, uh, to reconnect that. Um, our refrigerant lines are going to just be flush, so they run up, run out, run out the back of the house over here. Um, so we will flush the refrigerant lines going out, flush them from the outside in. Now, uh, to help with the airflow on the second floor, we're going to look at doing a five inch media cabinet. Um, so when we replace the return drop, we're going to need to just shift it over. Uh, so we're going to gain some room here on our furnace being about an inch or two. Um, narrower but this with the return drop will need to be shifted over probably two or three inches as well uh, put our uh, uh, media cabinet right down there side return uh, pulling into our uh, our system and that's going to help a little bit with our airflow up to the, uh, the second floor uh, from a venting perspective our water heater and our furnace are jointly vented into a masonry flue uh, there is an existing flue liner so we don't need to mess with anything on the flue liner uh, just reconnect to the existing. Um, this flue pipe looks like it actually has been replaced. It looks new um, and it is four inch. So we probably just need to remake this little connection over here. Um, but that was probably done with the most recent home sale. They probably replaced that because that's all new flue piping. Uh, 